Hello everybody, Lodgy Unemployed here, and welcome back to another quick little episode of Let's Try Distant Star Revenant Fleet. This little indie game claims to be inspired by FTL, which is one of my favorite games of all time, and we will definitely be playing through on the channel at some point in the future. It's a classic top-down sci-fi shoot-em-up fleet-based strategy type of thing, and you know what, let's, I'm gonna let it explain for itself. So let's hop into the game on regular difficulty and uh, just see what it has to offer us. It is said we were once a single people. Taking our first faltering steps into the unknown. Then we discovered the Ark. An alien artifact of unimaginable power it sent us deeper and deeper into the stars, unlocking the path to our enlightenment, even as it tore us apart. We are the Akari, keepers of the Ark. If we are warlike, it is because so many seek to destroy us. Now, the Othani, our oldest enemies, have laid siege to our homeworld of Eos and have dispatched a great weapon of war against us. The Erebus Platform. A planet killer. A threat of such magnitude, it must be destroyed. Lest our enemies wrest the Ark from the moat remains of our shattered world. Okay, so quite a cool cutscene there. Uh, definitely, I like the art style, I can say that much so far. Battle alert, battle alert, your Akari war fleet has been dispatched to intercept the Erebus platform, an Orthani superweapon capable of destroying planets. Part of the way through your journey, your war leader signals an immediate drop out of interspace. Defend yourself. Do we fight the battle? Ah, let's fight the battle. You can press space on your keyboard. Blah, 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 blah. Boring, lame, who needs tactical mode? We just, we're just gonna gung-ho it. Okay, new objective, survive the battle. Okay, so space pauses the game, got you, okay. Alright, so I think we just select our ship here, and yes, indeed, we can uh, start firing our missiles at the enemy craft. This is happening automatically, I'm just able to sort of right-click around to control it. I also have this here, Tactical Overcharger ability, which uh, maxes out the damage of all of my weapons. In fact, let's go for this guy, his shields are down. Kill him. Kill him good, boss. Uh, smack him again. Uh, okay, I believe that the two small purple bars at the base there are my action points. Now, as you can already tell, this does not have much similarity to FDL yet. This particular sort of tactical gameplay portion of it is not very FDL at all. In fact, this is probably closer to Celestial Command, I guess, without the orbital mechanics, uh, which is also a really cute little game we should try out sometime. And by cute, I mean unbelievably demanding intellectually, and I have yet to actually work out how the hell to play it. Also, you may have noticed there that Friendly Fire is indeed a thing. Uh, my little allied ships here are able to hit me if I get in way. In fact, let's actually see if I can replicate that. Oh no, he's not shooting at the guy anymore. Come on, hit him. Hit him. I think it's gonna blow up. Oh no, there we go. Okay, activate power again. Super maximum weapon damage. Attack. Okay, we don't want our shields to go down because... I don't know, I feel like they're in badly for us. Oh god, that's big. How the fuck am I supposed to kill that thing? Time to do a bit of strafing. Oh shit. Alright, alright, we're just gonna, yeah, strafe around the edges here. And this is essentially the gameplay for the most part of it. You travel from sec sector to sector, sort of fighting off little battles like this one, and uh, you occasionally get to upgrade your fleet and improve the ships you have in your sort of party and things, and you can have up to five ships in total. You collect resources, credits here, and supplies. Supplies, of course, are required to maintain your ships, and credits are required to build them. And yeah, that's pretty much the basic gameplay of it, really. Uh, you can get up to capital class ships like this, I believe, but that's definitely further down the line. This, this right here, your little bruiser, is definitely... <laughs> 
the best value for money at this point in the game. Okay, let's just wipe out these drones. Which my missiles are not very good at hitting, apparently. Come on, get a bit closer. There we go. Okay, battle survived. Mission 1 done. Nice, objective achieved. Okay, so you don't want to receive zero health in a battle because it'll become disabled rather than destroyed. Disabled strips are automatically revived in your next jump, but have a chance of retaining critical damage. Critical damage adds persistent modifiers that negatively affect a ship's performance. So you have these sort of like meta effects that you can accumulate over time, and you really want to remove that from your ships, because it can be like huge things like half movement speed or half damage or something. With each critical added over three, there's an increasing chance the ship will be destroyed during the battle instead of being disabled. Use repairs to remove criticals before they become a terminal problem. Repairs can be obtained from shops or events that appear in each sector. So at present we don't have any criticals and our status is still rookie. Our ship, the Sorar, is uh, the only one we have available at the moment. Okay, cool. Let's carry on. Casualty rating massacre. It was an ambush. You have been betrayed by your war leader, one of your closest friends, and are the f one of the few Akari to survive the massacre at Tartarus. And uh, didn't realize we'd uh, voyaged into the Greek underworld. Now it is up to you to lead the Akari to victory. Fight your way across the galaxy and destroy the Erebus platform before the Orthani use it to annihilate your homeworld, Aeos, and secure the sacred ark forever. Salvage what you can from the wreckage of your fleet and then jump into interspace to begin your mission. Awesome. So as you can see here, yeah, whatever, you can read that if you want to. As you can see here, these are the ships we have available to us. So we've got a few pesos to work with, 40,000. To be honest, we can actually go ahead and sell this, I believe. Uh, we can't scrap it at present, though that is its value once scrapped. So what kind of ships do we want to go with? We've got 40k. Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to go for? We can also buy attachments. Ooh, repair bots would be cool. So right now we have one missile, one burst cannon. Cool. We have... Um, so the circular slots are weapons, by the look of it, and the square slots, or not square, or those octagonal slots, are system slots. So you can put some of these things in. For example, the target tracker. Will that improve the damage of missile-type weapons? And we do use missile-type weapons, so maybe maybe we should get the, the target tracker there. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll buy that. And then let's go ahead and get ourselves a ship. Maybe we get something something hefty, something hefty like uh, like a dreadnought. Yeah, that sounds that sounds cool, man. I want it. I want a dreadnought. Hell, hell yes. Okay, so what are we what are we gonna put on here? This thing has missiles. It's got, it's got sort of torpedoes. Oh, okay, so that's like area-based. Maybe we should give it a, a standard old burst cannon there. Just so it, uh, uh, yeah, maybe, huh? I think we give him the burst cannon so that he's got some, uh, he's got a full range of weapons. He can uh, use two burst cannons. In fact, I think we only get, yeah, we get two at the back there. And then what else have we got here? We got tactical overdrive, override. Force all enemy ships in the area to target you. Okay, so it's a, maybe we should get the shield regenerator then, yeah? Um, increases the rate of shield regeneration out of combat. No, that's not good. We need like uh, we need like strength repair bots, yeah. Heals hell over time. Install right there. We're gonna spend all our money because I don't plan on surviving this. Okay, jump. Let's go. So now we got two ships, and they're super badass. Okay, now here comes in the FTL sort of influence. So we got various sectors we can jump to, right? Uh, these are the different sort of stars within this greater system. And then once we exit the system, we'll go to one of eight uh, sort of greater sectors that also have lots of stars in them. And all this is all randomly generated, and you, know, you don't really know what's going on. So we're just going to hump over here. And of course, you know, the end goal is very similar. You've got to get to the end before the enemy catches up with you, or they're going to destroy your home world. Or, I think FTL was like, the rebel mothership will know what you're doing. But you, you can see the similarities. We do not leave our ships in the hand of the enemy. Attack. Orthani defense ships stand between you and your target. Well, not for long. Oh, that's very No Man's Sky. Look at that. Look at that colors. Damn. Ooh, hiccups. Okay, these ones, these ones don't even have uh, shields, so we're going to go for these fools first. Uh, you can take that, and I want you to... You take the hits, boy. Also, hit him up with that, with that torpede. Even given that torpedo life. Oh, it takes a while to load up. Holy shit. Okay, there we go. That didn't do that much damage. That wasn't amazing. Uh, these drones are very annoying. Uh, we're gonna actually put this guy right in the line of fire. I prefer he takes most of the hits. There we go. Just like that. Targeting override. Okay, we can almost use it again. 
how long does it take? Okay, it takes five seconds to spool up. So if they're moving, that's no good. Jeez, it does do quite a bit of damage, though, doesn't it? Nice. Ooh, and our shield got kicked. So we have 27 seconds before the shield will replace itself. So down here is our little tactical map. And we can go into tactical mode and scroll around and see things. But uh, yeah, no, we're just gonna scurf around this. It's of course 2D, um, despite being in space, so you cannot go inside or around these sort of naturally forming obstacles. You kind of just have to, have to deal with it. Um, I believe once our shield hits, counter hits zero, we get the full thing back. Uh, if I remember correctly, we'll have to see now. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, we get the whole thing back, so it's, it's a bit OP. So what you can do, of course, is let your shields run out and then just run away for 30 seconds and then go back in. That, that is a strategy you can play, but only if both of your ships are uh, as fast as each other and unfortunately our Dreadnought is a bit slower. Um, never mind, he's slapping the big one. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Now we have to go down to this red circle. That's presumably where our uh, where our objective is. We're going to destroy ship A. So, oh god, those are mines. Those are mines. Those are mines. Those are mines. Okay. So now, can we shoot the mines? Can we drop our torpedo on them and discover something interesting? Is that going to blow them up? It did blow them up. Good to know. Other than that, I don't see any other way to target them specifically. Oh, that did. Okay, so you can you can specifically target this, or you can just right click on stuff. Okay, well that's pretty straightforward. Boost your weapons, start smacking them. Now getting through those shields is a little bitch. Okay, now come on, come on a bit closer. Here we go, we're gonna smack you with the torpedo. Boom. Nice, that guy's almost dead, fantastic. I'm just gonna hide this one behind the dreadnought, because it's got a lot more health. Beautiful, just like that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let his shield come back together before we go back into combat. Because if this thing dies, or if it gets disabled rather, we're gonna pick up a critical hit point. And that's bad. Okay. Well, the mines aren't that intense. That's that's survivable. How long before it starts? Okay, so you gotta get a few seconds outside of damage before you start regenerating shield health. You are back at full shield, so come on in. Let's find this ship. We gotta smash. Oh, it's the clone. It's. It's 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 darker flyer. It's our it's our evil antithesis. Oh god, no. Okay, well hit him with the hit him with your best shot there. Nice. Doesn't do very much damage. Is that like a AOE damage? Oh, I suppose that's the that's the goal. Oh my god, what are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, look at it. How the fuck are we supposed to kill these things? Oh, my ships are gonna go down. Oh no. Oh no, run, fly away. Fly away, Mr. Dreadnought. Fly away. Get out of here. You go 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 go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh shit. Go! Leave this place! Oh shit, he's disabled! Oh no, <laughs> I couldn't move him for some reason. Okay, well we need to flee. We need to fly, fly, fly away to come back another day. Or uh, or this is going to be a pretty pretty close end. Um, we'll end the current mission. Use three supply. Yes, do it. Get out of there. Do we lose our damaged ships though? That's, that's the real question. Can we see... Our shippy boys. No, we can't. So let's just go here and see what happens. Okay, we have to escape. We were we were getting ganged up on. It wasn't very nice. Um, a space station close by has been taken by Akari forces. They extend no welcome and offer no help, despite being that standard protocol on the front line. Okay, so this is another FTL inspiration. Um, you have these sort of random events, and you have choices, and some of them go well, and some of them go very, very badly. And there's a random chance that it could go either way, really. The Akari holding the station cannot be trusted to attack them. Contact the station. Let's contact the station. Station commander warns no clan symbols and has covered all identifying life story tattoos. We are Akari no more. What do you want with us? Why have you turned your back on our people? Our people are tearing the galaxy apart of the Ark. We are not fanatics like the Holy Agectum. We just want peace. Um, the Orthani will not create peace if they take the Ark. For enough shakes ahead. Nothing good's from that thing. We should hide away and forget about it. Are you going to attack us, commander? I think I think we leave them alone. Okay, yeah. I mean, that all all they do, all they did is just they wanted to love people, you know. And I can't can't hate them for loving. Let's go check out what what is a T platform. Let's find out. Okay, so a transmat platform can be accessed from the orbital georeactor in the system. Well, <laughs> none of those words. I think <laughs> the use of these tethered worm portals grew out of the early Akari logistics efforts to move supplies safely across the battlefield. But the power required to run them soon pro proved prohibitive. It's easy to see why that moon is the portal reactor. Wow! Use the portal to purchase supply. Um, I think. 
Oh, we are very low on money. Oh god. Okay, maybe maybe we have you got a critical damage thing? What is what is your critical problem? Your jump lady no longer protects your health, causing you to take health damage when jumping. Oh no. I need to repair that. Uh, I can't buy any repairs. It's a bit rough. So we're just gonna have to buy we're just gonna have to buy some supplies. Yeah, with all our money so that we can continue to jump places. So you only get more supplies and money if you actually manage to defeat the enemies in an area. You gotta you gotta complete all the objectives. Let's go down here. The grizzled Akari commander grins at you from a view screen. Welcome, war leader. High command dispatched our service ship. As soon as they heard you would be passing through the system. Um, supplies or repairs? Yes. Fantastic. Okay, well I could have bought all the supplies cheaper here. Uh, would have been good to know. But uh, that is the way of FTL and random number generation. It's a real shame. You'd think they'd give you the last hope for their race some free swag, but I guess not, you know. Enemy forces are attacking two Akari tech carriers. The allied ships hail you as you jump into the system. War leader, thank the Ark. These honorless Orthani ambushed us on our way to colony repair. They've snatched our best technician, Biscan. That woman is a genius, believe me. We don't want her working for the enemy. Defend the Akari tech ships. Tell the Orthani to break off their attack. Let's ask nicely. Uh, no, we have to protect them. We have to help our friends. Presumably, maybe, hopefully, we'll have a bit of uh, firepower on our side this time. All right. Well, here's here's the tech ships, right? Um, these ones here are being attacked rapidly, so we're gonna we're gonna head up this way. Oh god, am I gonna have to divide our forces? I really hope not. Boom! Smack it. Bah, beautiful. Oh wow, that wiped them all out. Okay, so that does mad hull damage. That's something to be aware of. Um, also, put yourself in the way so that ship stops taking damage. Activate those super boosters. Nice. Okay, cool. So we'll just absorb all the fire on this ship. Let's wipe out that pirate because uh, yeah, he's 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 got no health. In. Therefore, is weak and pitiful. Okay, you're too far away. Can we both move? No. Okay, we just have to sit here. Just take the punishment. Do what you must. Yeah, the Dreadnought's actually a good build for this one because he can absorb some of the fire to keep off attention. Was it that easy? Is that it? Hey, that was it. Nice. Oh, whoa, we got a lot of money for that. Nice. Okay, cool. Looks like we just picked a really bad starting mission. Like, we had some heavy hitters. Okay, so where do we go next? I guess we go here. I'm going straight for the exit just to keep this episode nice and short. Um, then we can, you know, we can play this again if you guys like it. You just, you just hit that like button enough times. If I get like five likes on the video, <laughs> then yeah, then we'll play it again, sure. You've arrived to find a cluster of Othani-controlled space stations. Several high-ranking Othani officers have recently arrived here, presumably for a council of war. Order their fleet to attack, hail the stations. Hmm. Prepare to be at... Oh, I could use some supplies. You broadcast a stoli Orthani Idet, save for just such an occasion, and open a visicom link to the station commander. She stares at you with contempt. So an Akari card wolf has come to beg at my table. I understand that only Orthan has the wisdom to use the Ark. I fight for the Orthani now. Huh. She spits down the link. Do you think I'm going to need Arcani? I see through your childish ruse. She gives the... Oh, no. We are being attacked despite our childish ruse. Our oh, childish ruses are my favorite kind. Okay, so we have a pretty hefty crew coming at us at present. So we're actually going to slap down a torpedo right there. Um, that should hit some of these craft. Not all of them, though. I'm not sure what that is. This seems to be some kind of technical ship. Uh, yeah, I took out two of them. Nice. Finish that one off, please. Uh, we should definitely get out of that. It looks like a shield breaker of some kind. Okay, cool. It's, I think I heard someone say shield breaker. I'm not sure. Oh, no, it was draining the energy. Interesting. That's some kind of repair field for sure. It doesn't take it. Doesn't take a genius to work down that. Okay, I want you to hit this thing. No, no. Your energy is being sapped. Okay, there we go. We're going to burn through this guy's hull real quick now. No problem. Draw fire to the dreadnought. It's got maximum health. In fact, how much health does it have? Six thousand and six thousand shield. This is five thousand shield for a thousand health. So you can see it here in the bottom screen when I'm mousing over the numbers. Okay, cool. That was pretty easy. Let's let's actually go to this top one first and see what we can get out of that. Okay, we can select all our ships. What are these options? Uh, select a target, halt, and set defend. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, what is over this way? 
this seems like a similar map to the last time. Not not very, oh, I suppose this has been blocked off, so a little bit of RNG in there. Okay, that's a kind of cool station. Look at it, it's so pretty. Okay, do we just chill inside its area of influence or something to capture it? I'm guessing so, yeah, perfect. Oh, here they come. Here come that boy. Okie doke, so we're gonna want to slap down one young torpedo right here. Beautiful. And that's gonna wipe out those smaller ships one time. Uh, let's let's focus fire on this thing. Uh, boost our guns as well. Oh shit, we need we need to get behind cover. Uh, you need to be that cover, please. Dreadnought's taking some pretty hefty fire. Definitely be a good thing if he didn't do that. <laughs> Okay, that thing's almost dead. Uh, we can hit both of them if we put that there. Nice. How much damage is that going to do to that shield? Ah, uh, half the shield is pretty good. That's two full bars. Okay, so it's not, not to be smoked at. The shield is about to come back, so we're going to move him back up and activate his taunt ability. Uh, let's just draw fire away from the other ship. Perfect. Just like that. Just while his shields come back, because uh, yeah, we can't we can't afford that kind of that kind of damage on the seconds. All right, that should wipe both of these out one shot, no problem. And bye bye, bye bye. Oh god, did I hit my ship? I think I may have. Whoops. Whoops whoops whoops. Okay, cool. So we got A captured. So now we need to go on down here to B and C. Um, but we just need to be a bit more careful. We might want to do a bit of guerrilla tacticing and. I'm gonna do a couple jump cuts there, just to, just to, just to speed things up a bit. All right, we have been ambushed again. We've got another set of enemies coming at us here, and we need to hit them all with that torpedo quickly before the shield generates. Oh, smash him! Smash him, guys! Oh, damn it! Oh no, I was too slow. Shit. Okay, so we're gonna lose this shield for sure. We need to get out of here. Uh, we need to hit that one. Oh shit, I didn't even see- Oh no, the mines! Oh, there were mines! Okay, we've got to get up top. We backed ourselves into a bit of a corner here, and I think that is in fact death. Yes, it is. Game over, our fleet has been destroyed. And I know that is a bit disappointing, we didn't really get to see much further into the game, but if you guys would like me to take a second shot at this, you let me know in the comments below, and uh, yeah, we'll do it anyway. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, if you didn't, hit that dislike button, and as always, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.